Lavish Polygon Editor is a replacement for Unity's built-in Polygon Collider 2D Editor that hugely improves the Collider editing workflow. Let me show you. I'll select this caterpillar here, and press Edit in the Inspector for the Polygon Collider 2D component. This button will always put you in the Edit Points tool mode. I can now box select some points by clicking and dragging the mouse in some empty space in the scene view. Then if I click and drag one of the selected points, these are orange rather than white, it will move them all together. I can then deselect all the points by clicking in some empty space. If I hold down Ctrl and Shift and hover the mouse over an edge in the polygon, you will see a green point appear. If I then click and drag the mouse, you will see that edge gets subdivided, and now I'm dragging that new point. Now I'm holding just Ctrl, and that new point gets deleted when I click it. To add a new polygon to the collider, I'll hold Ctrl and Shift, then click somewhere other than along an edge. This will create a polygon with one point in it. Not very useful. With Ctrl and Shift still held, I'll click and drag on that new point. I now have a polygon with two points in it, which still isn't very useful. Now, still holding Ctrl and Shift, I'll click and drag somewhere along the line between those two points, and there we go. I now have a triangle. Next step, World Conquest. In the inspector, I have two buttons labeled Sprite to Local and Local to Sprite. These appear on the Caterpillar object because it has a sprite renderer component with a sprite set on it. Pressing the Sprite to Local button resets the Polygon Collider to the physics shape configured on that sprite asset. Pressing the Local to Sprite button actually changes the sprite asset's physics shape to match this collider. This means new instances of the same sprite will use this collider's shape by default. Now in the sprite renderer component for the caterpillar, I'll set the flip x property to checked. Note how the polygon collider no longer lines up with the sprite. This problem is very easy to solve. Just press the horizontal flip button in the lavish polygon editor. Now it's time to try out the boolean tools. I'll select the boolean tab in the toolbar in the inspector. With the knife option selected, I'll click somewhere above the caterpillar and drag the mouse to somewhere below it. Now that single collider polygon just became two, cleaving the caterpillar in twain, which would be very hard to achieve in the point editor. Using the brush option in add mode, I'll click and drag in the scene view to paint a region to add to the collider polygon. How cool is that? The diameter of the brush or the width of the knife tool can be changed with the size property in the inspector. If I switch to edit points now, you'll see it created a lot of points that I don't need. Like the last problem, this is also easily solved. It's time to switch to the simplify tool. In here, I'm presented with two sliders, percent of reduction and percent of length influence. I can use the first slider to choose how much detail to remove from the collider. The algorithm will try to remove the least needed points first. You can help it decide which points to remove by playing around with the second slider. Increase the length influence to prefer removing short edges, and decrease it to prefer removing points from straight lines. I like this simplification configuration, so I'll click the apply button to actually use it. Now that I think about it, I feel like this region here still has too much detail. In the edit points mode, I'll select those points and switch back to the simplify tool. Now you can see that only some of the points and edges are highlighted, and don't be too surprised when you find that only those ones are affected by the simplifier. Everything has a tooltip telling you more about it, which you can see by simply hovering the mouse over it or its label. On top of that, you can always expand the help foldout to read about how to use the active tool. There's a link to Lavish Polygon Editor on the Unity Asset Store in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.